Hello! Welcome to Bees and Tea Stitching. I'm your host. And yes, I know I'm a day early, but it's my birthday. Okay, I won't do that again, I promise. Well, okay, I can't promise. But anyway, it is my birthday, so that's why I'm doing this a day early. Yay. Anyway, so, um, you know, I thought last week was going to be short, and it wasn't. I think this week is going to be short again, maybe, but we'll see. So, I can't promise. Um, last week was not short. Um, I do have my box to go over. Oh, that sounds terrible. You know what I mean. Get your minds out of the gutter. Stop it. Anyway. Um, so that will extend it a little bit, but I haven't sewn very much. Um, so personal life, that's kind of where the personal life comes in. Uh, I talked to you guys a little bit last week. I am trying to get back into school. Um, I don't remember how much I said. Um, it's the school I... I went to a two-year, I went to a college, which was a four-year college, but I was stayed there two years. Then I went to another college where I graduated from. The second college, the one where I graduated from, um, just started a 2D program. Well, they started an MFA, Master of Fine Arts, um, in 2D and 3D. And um, one of the 2D specialties was photography. Okay, I did it again. Sorry. I had my fingers crossed. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, uh, they have a 2D program in photography, and I love photography. And I haven't shown any here. Um, somebody had suggested that I do, so I might. Not, not this week, um, just because this week has been a little bit of a mess. But next week, I promise you, I will try to do it. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, and so I'm trying to get in there. And unfortunately, the problem was that they were rushing to get this done for this semester, which I think might actually start today for the regular undergrads, um, either today or Monday. Um, so they're rushing to get it done. So I had until today to get everything in, um, letter of intent and a portfolio and, um, all this stuff, and um, one thing they needed was three um, letters of recommendation from a professional. The problem is that I have not been doing um, any sort of professional photography, so I don't have that. So um, I've been stressing all week about who to ask and, you know, what to do, and I finally just got in the last letter yesterday. Um, so I've been stressing about that all week. And so it's finally done. I sent off my letter yesterday. Um, I mean, obviously, I haven't heard anything from them. Um, so I believe that they're going to start doing interviews on Monday. Um, there'll be an interview over the computer, obviously. Um, and then they'll have to make their choices pretty quickly. Um, it'll definitely be sometime, sometime next week. I'm hoping early next week. Um, I think she said she might have had six students coming in uh for it so and I, you know so it's not i mean but i don't know how many people they're actually going to accept and i don't know which or maybe it was, i don't know anyway um it wasn't a whole bunch of students so i don't think it's going to take a long time um but i mean they don't necessarily have to have somebody in that first program if somebody's not qualified so and i don't know if anybody else is doing photography or not so it's not a shoe in just because there's only a few people. Um, I am working at a disadvantage where, like I said, I don't have the professional experience. Um, I don't have the GPA that I'm supposed to have. And, you know, I don't have those, the letters of recommendation that they had. Um, sorry, I'm nervous. Um, uh, you know, I don't have the letters of recommendation that they kind of wanted. So I, I, don't like that I'm really working at a at a disadvantage here, but uh, you know it is what it is. Um, I, I mean I'm not gonna say it's out of my hands yet because I still have to do the um, interview. So that's been my life this week. Um, so not a whole hell of a lot of stitching got done again, and I it's not that I've lost my stitching bug. It really is not because I worked like a mofo last night and got a lot done on one particular one. Um, so, um, yeah, it's not that the bug is gone, it's just that I've had to do adulting things. It sucks. I hate adulting, but, you know. Um, alright, so that has been my week. Um, 
All right, so actually only two uh, letters in the, uh, other than that, you know, everything else has been okay. Um, nothing special going on for my birthday, unfortunately. I don't even know if I'm going to get cake or ice cream or, I think I'm just going to have to find something to eat at home. So, not very exciting, but, you know, it's not a big number. It's, it's a birthday, it's another day, so whatever. Um, but only two emails this week or letter or, yeah, comments, I should say. Um, one, yay, back from car, yay, she hasn't been here in a while, and, um, I was actually a little worried, I'm not gonna lie, um, I, I was worried that maybe I had done or said something, and, you know, um, she didn't want to watch me anymore, but yay, she's still here, um, so, um, yeah, so I'm very glad she's still here, she had asked, uh, she mentioned, uh, a couple of different things here, so, the first one was, uh, um, she mentioned about the hurricane, um, and, uh, it, it ended up being a non-issue. I mean, it was really a non-issue. It was, I wasn't there for the storm, um, down at the beach. Uh, my family was, and it was a little bit of rain, a tiny bit of wind, and the waves were kind of kicking up a little bit, and that's it. So, um, and, um, so, um, yeah, and, uh, and she had asked, said about going back to school is exciting. Um, I hope it works out. Thank you. Um, like I said, I, I should probably know next week. Um, she actually had, she had mentioned about being interested in seeing my art. So, um, if you guys are interested in it, um, you know, please tell me. Um, I, I need to work on my Instagram more. So I can always put some stuff up to Instagram. But if you guys want to see some stuff here, some prints that I have, um, you know, I can do it. You know, that's, you know, whatever you guys want. So just tell me, um, you know, even if it's just a short comment of yes or no, you know, just, I want to know. Um, and, um, so, um, uh, the bee fact, which I think was a uh, bees have five eyes. She said that's the same for butterflies, which is cool. I did not know that. Um, and I guess you'd mentioned the Mill Hill kit as well. I'm having a bit of a love hate relationship with that Mill Hill kit. Uh, I have another one. I think it's Christmas related. So I don't know. Maybe it's just, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just that when I started, it was not a good time because I've been, I guess I've been kind of stressed out and such. So maybe I just have a, a bad, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe this is bad memories or something, but I don't know anyway, but I mean, I'm still going to finish it. It's not that big. I haven't even started on the beads yet. I'm only, I'm still only on the stitching. So, I still got a bit to do. Um, and there's also some, I think maybe part of it is also that I didn't know that there were specialty stitches. And although I think it's just some sort of, some sort of Smyrna, I don't think it's exactly the, the, um, sorry, sorry, I'm messing with things. I apologize. Um, I don't think it's a basic Smyrna. I think it's some sort of, uh, um, um, Smyrna that's like slightly different or something, but um, so uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it's hard, so I, I guess maybe the whole combination of all those things were like, eh, but I'll, I'll still do it. Um, let's see, oh, yeah, and she was also talking about how it's easier for her at least to um, watch the videos in one big go. Um, I have to admit. It is a little nice not having to worry about it every day, but it also means that I have to wait to open that, which is kind of annoying, but, you know. Um, alright. And she's like, yay for short comment, I tried. Write as much as you want. I love short comments, I love long comments, I love any comments. So, if you want to write a long comment, please do. Feel free. If you want to write a short comment, feel free as well. You know. Um, I'm good. Um, alright. And so, um... Yeah, so, uh, welcome back. Yay, I'm so glad you're back. I really am. I, I honestly thought that I had done something wrong. Um, so I'm glad that I didn't. And, sorry, my cat is wandering close by. So make sure she's not going to jump on something. Because cats. There we go. We're good. I have the windows open to get more natural light, and she loves when those windows are open. Because it's, it's a, we call it her HGTV. So, she loves sitting out there. So, um, that's what she's doing right now. 
All right. Um, the second comment was from Cami Tweedy. Oh, she said, uh, I love my Lego castle. There's lights that you can get for it too. Um, yeah, I've seen, um, I've seen the castle and I've seen the light sets. I believe that my hubby was kind of looking between up oh, there. We go. You can see it over there. There you go. Woo. Um, between the Lego castle and the um, train set. And I believe he went for the train set. I don't know if they were out of the castle or what. Um, but I've seen them. And I've seen them lit up and they're really pretty. Uh, the problem is we're running out of space for these gigantic Disney things. Or I should say gigantic Lego things. Which I guess is kind of a good and a bad pro problem to have. So, we'll figure something else out. I still have not finished the Sanctum Sanctorum from Lego Marvel Super Heroes. So, that needs to be done first. And needs to find a spot. And then I can start working on that. So, yeah. it's So, it still may not get started for a while. Anyway, so, uh, that is the uh, Q&A. Um, you know, all that good stuff. Q&A. Um comments, emails, all that, all those good things. Um, all right. So new starts, um, and this kind of goes into plans, but I'll do it here. And I think I barely mentioned it last week because like I said, last week I was very distracted. Um, this week I'm somewhat less distracted, but still a little, um, I'm doing a birthday start today and anybody who wants to join in can join in. Um, somebody had asked last week, um, um, uh, sorry about that, that was my phone. Um, somebody had asked last week, um, when it ends, there's no particular ending. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to start it today and you can use the hashtag. I believe it was birthday B Sal, uh, birthday B S A L, um, which I have not set up. I don't think I've set up on, um, Instagram yet. If not, I'll do it today. I promise. Um, so anything that has to do with bees, I mean, it could have a bee in it. It could be about bees. It can, I don't know, whatever. It can have a bee. I don't care. I mean, like a letter B. Just something, something having to do with bees. Um, yeah, that's it. And that's, I'm not doing anything strict. Um, the one that I am doing and right before I started, I put in literally like six stitches, um, is, uh, there we go. Reverse B. Uh, it's kind of not wanting to constant, not wanting to really go on a picture of a picture there. But, uh, anyway, um, so yeah, so I started that and I will be putting up some Instagram stuff, I promise. And I don't even know if you can see, oh yeah, it's my little eyeball. There we go. And so it's a little start of a honeycomb. That's all I've got. That is curry from weeks i believe is that weeks yeah it's weeks um this is sand it's 16 count sand which i love look at that nice nice modeling there um 16 count sand from pictureless plus um i have no idea where i, the, I got the i got the two needle monitors from etsy but i don't remember where i'm very sorry about that um oh and gear and bag of course has to be bees uh, this was for, they're doing a sal, some sort of a bee sal, and this was the bag that goes with it. So I'm not doing their sal, um, but I'm using it for mine, so yay, I guess. So that's good. Um, all right, so that is the only new start. Um, I finally have everything I need to start the Haunted Mansion from Good Morning Maui, and I have not, um... But I haven't started it yet. So, um, um, probably soon. Uh, I was trying to kind of finish something first before I started a bunch of things, but I don't know how long I can hold off. Uh, we'll see. So, um, works in progress. I don't remember if I did anything more with the Mill Hill, which let me show you the picture of it. Uh, there it is. So I'm going to show this. I'm sorry, it's a really tiny picture. Oh, there we go. Hey. So these are the Smyrna stitches I was talking about up here. The back stitch I'm not worried about. I can do the back stitch. Um, but I've never done Smyrna stitches. I've never done beads. So, um, 
I really do want to say I did a little bit more this week. I think I might have worked on the pumpkin this week, but I don't 100% remember, so if I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, or maybe I did the gray. But anyway, so that's where I am with that. And the only other one that I worked on is the one that I was working like a mofo, like I said. Uh, put that up here for right now. Um, just because I wanted to get something done, and I just started in on it, and I was just like... I was just going, going, going. And this was really close to being done. So, um, this might get done in the next couple of days, maybe. Uh, Teresa Kogut, Black and Jack. Um, unfortunately, since I'm using a 14 count, I don't really like the coverage, but, and I took it out of the, okay, I took it out of the hoop, and it's stuck on the hoop. Wonderful. Hold on. I apologize. All right. There we go. All right the needle and thread were around the hoop but so it's a 14 count picture of this plus i don't remember what the purple color is boy that is not showing us purple at all but you can see the black and no jack so i did a little bit of the cat and like all of that pumpkin last night i mean all it's done wow there we go that's its actual color though or it's real close to its actual color it's a very nice purple. It's, wow. Yeah, it's not really showing all that well. But yeah, it's it's a lot more of that, that purpley sort of color. I suppose this will make it better. No, nah, that doesn't really make it better nor worse. Okay, anyway. Never mind. But anyway, you get the general idea. It's not prank, because prank is the orange. Oh, it's another one I really love. It's the purple I've used on a few different things. That's a scrap that happened to be big enough for that cat. Um, it's actually the same purple that I'm using for that, um, the, um, Biscornu for the Halloween thing, which I still have not finished. It's mid-August, so, oh god, I really gotta get that done, like, this week. But it's the same, that same purple. Um, I will try to figure out which one it is and tell you because I know I didn't know last week either. Um, so that is literally all of my, um, all my works in progress. No finish, no fully finish. Um, plans, uh, again, um, work on my, work on my B, try to finish Black and Jack. That's really about it. Um, oh, I guess, um, um, for haul... I think I showed you these last week, so I'm not really going to go over them. A bunch of snips and some uh, rainbow blending thread um, for one of my projects. Well, the snips, obviously, go in a bunch of different things. Um, so I think I showed those to you. That's why I'm not going to worry about those right now. Uh, I'm not a huge... I got the snips because I needed a bunch of them, and those are pretty cheap from um, from um, one, two, three. But I don't really like them. They don't snip very well. So, um... Hold on, I apologize. Alright. Alright, I apologize. Um... Okay. I very much apologize for that. That was an important, uh, text I need to send it real quick. Um, anyway. Um, so, for haul... Um, since we're doing part of this, this is, pff, wow, this is not showing my address, but, um, the Stitchy Box, which is not quite as pretty as the other Stitchy Box, but this is the Small Batch Tea. So, and I did not reach in here and pick out, um, the ones that I need to pick out like I did last week. So I'm going to have to, uh, let's see, so I need to start with. Day 9, I believe. Oh, there we go. Okay, so day 9. Ooh, that's interesting. Day 10. There's 12. Where's 11? Day 11. I apologize. So 11, which... Well, I was going to say it's... There's a lot of... I think that's a, it's a spoon. Anyway, so 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, there's... Okay, 12... I did 12, 13, and, um, 14. Um, 
tell you what. I want, mm, I don't know if I want to do 15 or not because it's definitely a pattern. And I usually do this on Saturday. So I'm going to cheat because it's my birthday. So, mm, and open 15 because normally I would be opening this tomorrow. So, meh. And I've got my bag of holding ready. This is the bag I got from Sassy Jacks last week. All right. So, let's let's do this. In the Immortal Words of Leroy Jenkins. I don't know if anybody's old enough or nerdy enough to actually get that joke. But if you are, I love you. And we can be friends. Oh, it is a T-ball. Which is good because mine is actually in very bad shape. So, essentially, well, let me read it. Hold on. Uh, day 9, tea ball obviously great for tea drinking, but you can also try your hand at ah, stitching in it. Sorry, that was the cat trying to knock me over. Knock my mouse over. Selena, I love you, but you're a pain in the butt. Um, so obviously great for tea drinking, but you can also try your hand at stitching on it. Thanks to Harsh Assembly for the inspiration there. I've seen people do that. I, I don't really know how exactly. Um, but essentially, all this is is, so you got the little basket. You put your your loose leaf tea in here, you put it here and then you, there's like a little thing to finish up, a little thing to close it. And then, um, you just, well, you would hang it closed, of course. You hang it closed in your cup like that and it steeps. So, uh, for, for the uninitiated tea people, um, that's actually great. Like I said, I needed a replacement, um, a replacement tea, um, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, replace a T-ball. So that is perfect. I am very glad of that. I mean, they will get rusted after a while, especially if you just have a cheap one, which I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, speaking of that, oh, I'm a terrible person. I forgot. My favorite ta Taz mug. My tea today is, and I'll show it, uh, I apologize, I did not bring it over. Um, it is the same Russian, uh, there it goes, the triangle here, the same Russian berry tea that I've, I've been having a few times. It is like super duper cold now, but that's all right. It's actually not bad cold. And the cat is eyeing my tea. You better not drink my tea, cat. You just wait. Well, there will be words. Anyway. Okay, sorry. Apologize for that. Day 10. And up, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this light is both good and bad. So, day 10 is... Oh, it's thread again. It's almost definitely silk. Oh, yeah, it's definitely silk. Day 10, smitten stitchy silk. I bet you're as smitten with tea as I am. Ha, oh, cute. It's called... Oh, it's just called smitten. Okay. I'm not really sure what it has to do with tea because it's kind of a nice, uh, where's my, where's my back? Hold on. There we go. There we go. Um, because it's kind of a pink-ish color, which, I mean, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's pretty close, yeah. That's about right. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's that's actually not not too bad. Um, not not super. Actually, it's not really variegated at all. It's a nice kind of um, soft, um, purpley pink color. Um, I don't honestly know what that would have to do with tea at all, but it's nice. I mean, I'm sure I can definitely find something for it. That was eight yards, which is nice. So, you know, sometimes like obviously they. They're only five, so the fact that this is eight is nice. It's oh, this is Stitchy Silk by Stitchy Box. So this is apparently their their specialty personal um, stuff that they're making, which is cool. Um, you know, I know obviously com they get some stuff from companies, but uh, apparently they're doing a few things themselves. So that will go into the bag. So that's nine and ten, and. 11. Oh shit. Oh, I broke it. There we go. Oh, I tore that bag up. It's nice. Purpley. Alright. Oh, this is the one that I said was a spoon, I think. Which is, if it is, it's good because I always need a stern spoon. It is. Because right now, I'm using a, I don't know if you can see it. 
I'm using a Tiki Girl coffee stirrer as my spoon. So, uh, flour tea, day eleven flour teaspoon, a uh, fancy spoon you can use to stir your tea or use it as a decorative extra to a tea themed shadow box or mantle display. I really like. It's got kind of a flower design in the middle, but I'll, it's it's uh, it's not gonna hold on. I really was hoping to not have to take it out with plastic, but I can. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. I can sort of see the design back there. Uh, but I love the blue color. That's really pretty. So, yeah, that's nice. I was afraid it was going to be some, you know, something super feminine and pink. And let's face it, no. That ain't happening. So, yay. Awesome. A spoon. I'll, I would say I'd put that through our washing machine. Um, a dishwasher. Except our dishwasher has been broken. So, it is DOA. Um... So, unfortunately, we've been washing dishes by hand for the past, uh, I don't know, a few weeks. So. Alright, into the box. Or in the bag you go. Twelve. Little one. Ah, oh, they're beads. <laughs> I was waiting. I haven't had beads in a few days, so. And you know the beads had to be coming. So, what have we got? I... Hold on, let me see if I can push this over just for half a second. I know it's a mess, I apologize. Yeah, my cat is sitting over here judging me. So, yeah. Sorry if that shook you too much, I apologize. But, yeah, she's she's sitting over here judging me. Hi. <laughs> Give me the cat look, yeah. Um, Alright, so, day 12, Miyuki 15 OC beats. So this is the smaller ones. Tiny tea colored beads for your stitching. They are a pretty brownish sort of color. They're called fancy brown. Mm. There you go. Oops. Let's do it on the side that doesn't have any writing. There you go. Yeah, that's about right. So, again, nothing super, super special. Just uh, nice beads, you know, that can be used for something or another. And she's falling asleep over here sitting up. Because cats. Yes. Because cats. Alright, day, let's day 12, day 13 is, I don't know, it's about the size of thread, but, no, oh, this is, oh, this is some, um, yeah, oh yeah, there's the thing, uh, tea woven ribbon, fabulous ribbon to embellish your product, project, um, that's cute and all. Uh, I don't know how much... Oh, this is just not one of... Putting it behind here help any? No. Oh, well, there you go. A little bit, yeah. So there you go. Um, and it, it's folded over a few times, so my guess is maybe it's a yard of it. But, and then again, it's nice and all. Um, but, meh. Yeah, I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with it. But... Alright, I'm not going to sit here and try to get these things folded back down. Alright, day 14. Birthday day. I did it a third time. Yay! Because I am a rebel without a clue. Yep. That's me. Sorry about that. Uh, thread for my birthday. Ah, Ooh, and dinky dyes nonetheless. I really got to find an excuse to use some dinky dyes. Um... Day 14, Dinky Dye Silk. My fantasy garden would definitely include a tea or 12. A tea tree or 12. Okay, there we go. That is, wow. What is this? Does it have a name? Oh, it's called Tea Tree. Okay. Which is weird because it's kind of this. Uh, there we go. That's not bad. It's not showing great, but it's just kind of pink and light green, which you can sort of see there. Yeah. That's. It's a little... Nah, I mean, they're still fairly prim. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. Um, but still kind of a sort of a prim, soft color. Not, like, bright. It's a little brighter than what it was showing in there, but not, not really. Um, so, and that was... I think this is, what... Oh, 8 meters. Okay, yeah. So, 8 meters. So, that's the same amount as DMC, then. Like... I think it's, what, eight, 8 meters, like 8.7 yards, something of that sort. Alright, and then the last one, 
which I'm cheating on, which I know is a pattern, but, you know, like I said, it's my birthday, so, ha. Nah. Anyway. Oh, that's nice. Is there a thingy for it? Hold on. Um, no. Apparently, there's not. Okay. It is Country Cottage Needleworks. Time for tea. Um, chart number 124. Uh, it's a pretty small picture. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nice. Um, it takes, looks like it takes DMCs, three, uh, four DMCs, and three classic color works. Chop Chive, Grasshopper, and Watley Woodlands. I think I have, out of those, I think I have Grasshopper. I think I have some Grasshopper left. It looks like it's fairly small. I don't know. I'll have to look at it. But that's really cute, actually. Um, you know, you never know with patterns. And I, I don't want to say that I'm picky about patterns. But, I mean, maybe a little bit. I'm not really into prissy girl things, obviously. Or, um, or prim things. And uh, that's not... I mean, there are always exceptions. There are some prim things I do like. Or semi-prim, sort of. Um, so box um you know so there's always exceptions but um in general you know that's not usually what i go for um but yeah that's that's kind of nice actually um all right so let me just do a couple more things my of the week things and then i think i'll be able to let you go and this will be about normal about the normal length so that's good not too too, too long um, so, first is going to be Floss Tuber of the Week. Uh, Long Dog Stitcher. Uh, I just recently found her, and I know she also just recently found me, so yay! Um, and she does things, obviously, other than just Long Dogs, but it's really cool to see the stuff that, uh, that she has. Um, uh, obviously, I'll just put the link below, so it's definitely, she's definitely worth taking a look at. Um, so very cool, very cool. Um... The um, Stitchy website of the week. Um, and I know I already um, put Park Hopper Bart's uh, actual YouTube page up. But he actually does um, designing as well. Which is really cool. And um, so, okay, there, sorry about that. Um, so that, that's actually really neat. And he has a few patterns up. He has a, um, a Google site. Um, where you can actually download them for free. And so I'm putting that down, obviously. Links below. Uh, the non-stitchy website of the week. Let me scroll down to my things here. Um, it's called Heartbeat Dice. Um, I believe I saw them through a Kickstarter, but they have an actual webpage now. Um, it's like pride-themed dice. So they will have like rainbow dice and dice of different flags and things like that. Um, so I, th I think they're really cool. They're really pretty. Um, I did not order through Kickstarter because right now I have a crap load of dice and I don't need any more. Um, but, you know, I, I might still order, a, um, like one basic set just because I really, really like how they look. Um, and I, what, I don't remember, but I want to say that some of their profits may go to a charity. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, but I think I, I think I remember reading that. Um, but anyway, but e either way, it's still very cool. Um, you know, it's, I, I always like seeing stuff that's, you know, LGBTQ, all that good stuff. Um, you know, supporting. And I don't know if their workers are or if they're just doing these. I would assume that they probably are um, just because of the dice. But uh, either way. You know, it's, it's really cool. But anyway, so that's that. Um, and I guess the last one is going to be the Random Bee Fact. Which, um, I don't think is actually... So, sorry, Car, I don't think this has to do with butterflies this week. Um, but honeybees were not actually native to the New World. So, you know, like North South America, that, that sort of uh, area. Um, they were imported in the 17th century by European settlers. So there you go. And now we have murder hornets. So, I want to say I read somewhere that they had been found in Washington, D.C.? I'm not 100% sure of that. Maybe it was Washington State. It was one of the Washingtons. 
Um, so now they're working really hard to uh, try to eliminate them. I guess maybe Washington State would make more sense because they're Asian murder hornets. I don't remember their actual name, but um, like Asian wasps or something. I don't remember. They're murder hornets, and I don't want them anywhere close to me. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's about it, and, and I apologize if I'm maybe rushing through a little bit. Um, I just, like I said, I'm, I've been a bit scatterbrained, uh, this entire week just because of this whole, um, uh, school thing, and I'm gonna be very, very happy when I know one way or the other. I mean, obviously I want him, but, you know, just, it's, it's been very stressful. And now I'm just on pins and needles because all I can do is wait and wait for an interview and hope that I don't, I don't F it up. So, you know, <laughs> wish me luck, send me good vibes, do whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to work on my Instagram a little bit today, put up the, um, the cell, uh, hashtag, sorry, that was interesting. Um, put up some pictures because I've been really slack about that lately. No excuses. Um, and I guess that's about it. And so, so, so. Uh, now that I have some time, it's pretty much just a waiting game between now and, um, probably Monday. So, I should be able to get some sewing over the weekend, I hope. Um, alright. Well, I guess I have rambled enough. And the cat is not paying attention to me. Hold on one more time. Hey, Selena. Selena. Hey. Say goodbye. Come on. Hey. Hi. Okay. Sorry. And I apologize. That table is an absolute disaster. So we have um, company coming over. And so um, oh, we're being careful, obviously. Um, he'll be here in a few weeks. So things are kind of getting messier before they get cleaner. Uh, if that makes any sense. If somebody who's done like a, you know, you guys who've done like kind of massive cleans understand what I mean by sometimes you have to kind of pile things up and then go through them. So that's where we're at right now. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm sorry. I'm rambling again. Uh, all right. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.